Hey Plastic Model Builders, welcome back. This is the FA18F Super Hornet by Ravel. Previously, we painted the model. We put on our French blue color. You see me doing it around here, put this little decal on. Now is the fun stuff. We are putting on the rest of the decals on this model. So first, you have to spray a gloss coat on the model unless you already have gloss paint on your model. We did not, so we are putting on our gloss coat because there are a lot of decals on this and it's just easier to do it this way. So quickly here, showing you all that. Now here's all the decals. Uh, this particular one, this goes right down the center. We are trimming off all the clear part edges around this decal. I've discovered that it makes a model look so much better when you don't have that little clear part sticking out because sometimes it's just barely visible cut this out too right here this goes where an antenna is supposed to go so don't forget about that figure I'd show you that just pop that out so let's slide on some water decals this one was the hardest one to do or at least close to the hardest one it's very long you have to line it up properly and hopefully your paint job worked out fairly well you see me putting that on there no I didn't get it right the first time of course don't be silly uh, this is about the 15th try of doing this right here, getting this decal on properly because it's just long and you know you got to get a lot of liquid under there so it shifts easy and I'm so horrible at that. But anyway, I made it work and you see how I made this go all the way down that pale blue just in case. I wasn't exactly sure how far down it would go. And just position this decal a little bit. You don't want as much as that blue showing as there is. So there we go. Make it look pretty. It's this model making madness. I love it. Anywho, that's that decal. Plenty of fun decals on this model. So we are going to show you the tail decals. This is how they are laid out. Be careful with this one. You got a lot of grooves and edges there. So some good setting solution will work and make it conform. We have an edge here that we are going to put on goes on the side right over here we will show you that there we go this is it notice I have that gray area that I painted because you do see that on the actual plane we have our salty dog label meets right up with the checkered stripe by the way this plane is in Maryland in case you didn't know that's why the decals look like they do with their checkerboard and those frilly what I don't know we want to call them things anyway so this is stripe force uh, these are hard decals to put on right here for the intakes uh, they kind of have to go inside of that little rut there this one not easy as well you have to get it in and then push it back so it slides all the way in and meets up with where the uh, this tank or not the tank but the um, intake meets up with the fuselage and we'll show you a better shot of that later so you can see right down in there exactly how it meets up but for now we're going to show you this we have this right here this is our little you know air force navy symbol number two two three uh more fun decals you see right there how it meets up with that and this is the straight fleet lead the fleet strike test there we go I like it some of that nose work there there's more to do and that's how the uh, tail fin will look on at least one side notice I got the tips there too so this is the other tail fin be careful not to mess up your decals work slow uh, you see they are rather pointy you could paint the checkerboard if you want I don't know how that will turn out of course the rear salty dog logo again and then the SD whatever that stands for not exactly sure but salty dogs not South Dakota der anywho so getting to it the opposite intake I believe I messed up the first decal and I had a spare I don't know how I managed to do that but I got lucky and this is the exact opposite side everything's pretty much identical so this makes it a little bit easier a lot of work there like I said a lot of decals make sure everything lines up perfectly and our 223 label of course there we go I love it by the way that canopy is just kind of temporarily on our little black area right here one on each side of the leading edge K 
can't remember the full name, of course, but I was already told once. The leading edge of the wing. So VX23, of course. And Salty Dogs was on the other side. So now we got some small little decals, you know, for the engine exhaust. More like beware kind of things. Our little numbers. This is a marine plane. Ejections each side, warnings, more numbers for the plane, 223, we got the wing symbol, not too many stuff on the wings, which is kind of nice, I don't remember if there were no steps or not, if there were, I didn't put them on because I didn't want to, not that I remember, so on the other side is the Navy, how ironic, Marines and the Navy, so it's a dual kind of aircraft. There are little lights there that go on. Some other little symbols. There are a lot of little symbols on this aircraft. You just got to put them on. Our hooks. We know how that goes. Right here, little notations for the landing gear in the back. A little fuel gauge on empty or not. One on each side. Little lights right here on the wings. One on the rear. Don't forget, of course, our antennas. A lot of those front and back on each one. So you just saw me do the front sides, and now this is the back side. Four antennas. They will go onto the plane. I love it. Plenty of them. Anyway, here's another landing light. Uh, this is a large decal, which actually made things kind of nice. Got this right here, right there for the uh, front of the aircraft. The wheel there that goes into the uh, takeoff. Another fuel cell. More warning labels. More landing lights. Lots of them on this aircraft. Even more. Little lights right there. For the tail hook. There we go. Little vents. A lot of vents on this aircraft, apparently. Don't know why, but there they are. I got four of those. One in the middle right there. This was a very fun model to do. I thoroughly loved it. So here, this is the tail hook. Probably should have put that on last, uh, or before I even attach it to the aircraft. But you know how that goes sometimes. You don't always think about how you do things. You kind of realize it after the fact. More vents, at least I assume they're vents. I don't know what else they could possibly be. I'm sure some of y'all know and you can tell me. There are little anchor points. I don't know what these symbols mean, flaps, I don't know. Somebody please tell me, make a comment. It would be helpful so I don't sound like a bumbling dum-dum and I know what these are. All right, so I've got some little things on the landing gear right there, the doors. These were hard to put in that you saw in the intakes. A lot of these little screens right here go right on the front, just kind of getting them in place. And soon we will align them up and make them look wonderful. More anchors and more whatever those things are. So like I said, a lot of decals on this model, like 200 I think. I don't know, it's a, you're in for a long session of decaling when it comes to doing this. Not quite near like with putting on a thousand no steps on an F4 Phantom. But we all know how that goes, and I'm sure you can appreciate me not making you watch any of those. More hooks. Yes, I know those are hooks now because somebody told me. I got our no steps right here for the stabilizers. I'm always so bad at these decals, and they just go wherever they want. So these were fun getting those in. Just work carefully. It goes all the way in the back. Yes, not pleasant. Two intakes, so you know you got to... Double it, double it, double it, double it. There it is. I like it. Got a bunch of these little guys here. Three per landing gear side. Uh, you can see how those all go in there. And there we go. Those are them. Not too hard. Should have done the next decals, which go right here on the ejection seats. I forgot about those originally. So putting those on now. That's where they go. I know they're hard to see. Missiles. That means most of the plane is done. 
just kind of put it on there. You can paint them on if you like. I use the decals because they came with the model. I just kind of roll it and decal goes right into place. Put another one here and then one more in the back. So there's two more on that, the brown ones. I know each one has certain meaning. Armed, not armed, our warhead, that's fun stuff. Rocket motor, solid, whatever kind of fuel you want to have. Here we go, little Sparrow missile, I think. I can't keep up with the missiles anymore. There's so many of them. Might not even show them. If you want to keep seeing missiles, let me know. Otherwise, maybe I'll just make a video of missiles and then from now on be like, you putting on the missiles, finishing this plane up, and we are going to weather it. Yes, I said weathering. So don't forget to subscribe.